What's up YouTube? Crazy Logie here. In uh, today's video we're going to talk about Blackberries uh, and IT policies and how to find out if you have an IT policy. Uh, but first, um, I bought this phone used on eBay. Uh, I paid about half the price of what they are brand new. It's an 8350i. It is on the TELUS mic network which is like a two-way kind of like Nextel is in the States. Um, when I bought the phone used from a company on eBay it was a pre-leased phone to a corporation. That corporation had placed IT policies on the phone. Um, an IT policy is a policy that corporations put on their phones when they order them from like TELUS or whoever, uh, or RIM I should say, to block them from going on YouTube, Twitter, you know, Facebook, whatever, sending emails and racking up the bill basically and eating up all the data. So I bought the phone used, therefore I'm not in that situation I'm willing to pay for my data and I want to be able to use that functionality of the phone so there's a very easy way to uh, check to see if you even have an IT policy on a phone when you buy it used before you pay the guy on eBay I didn't get to find out you know I just paid the guy and then it came and oh look I couldn't send text messages I couldn't use Twitter I couldn't go on Facebook and uh, through a bunch of research on Google it's out there um, I found out how to find out if you have an IT policy and uh, how to get the son of a bitch off of there. So, I'll just zoom in here a little bit. So what you want to do to see if your phone has an IT policy on it is first you want to turn, you know, activate it, get it turned on there, hit your Blackberry button. You're going to want to go over here to options, which is the little wrench guy. And then you're going to want to find status, which is the fourth one up from the bottom on my phone. And then you're going to want to go into status. So when you go into status, I'll just show you here, it shows you some stuff at the very bottom. Well, you type the letters B U Y R, and you'll see that this little deal has popped up here. Okay? So. IT policy disabled. So that's telling me that I do not have an IT policy installed on this phone anymore. If it says enabled, there's a very simple way to get rid of it. Now, I'm not going to tell you how to get rid of it, but I will give you a hint. It requires the 4.6 version software of the BlackBerry Desktop Manager and a very simple line of code, which uh, if you Google how to remove IT policy using 4.6 BlackBerry Desktop Manager, you're going to find how to do it, okay? But again, I don't, uh, I don't recommend you do this to your phone if you, uh, if you don't own your phone. Um, or if you don't own the plan for your phone, I should say. Um, if your company pays for your phone, but you own the phone, it doesn't matter. That you know, If there's an IT policy on it and they put it there, they put it there for a reason. But... If you're an average Joe and just a regular redneck and you want to uh, use your BlackBerry without an IT policy, by all means, remove it if you bought it used. Or if you bought it new and it came with one, but it won't come with one if you buy it new. Anyways, until next time, guys. I hope this helps some people out there. I hope it was informative. And until next time, uh, yeah. Take it easy. Have a good one. Thanks for watching. All that good stuff.